Why, hello there. Welcome to Roll with Advantage. And today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to tell you how you can deal 1,000 damage in one turn. One turn, one singular turn, you as a player character can deal 1,000 damage since we reached and have now surpassed by a considerable amount, 1,000 subscribers. So let's get into it. So there are two ways that you can do this. There's the easy, frilly, draconic sorcerer, and then there's the true warrior route. So we're gonna do both, but be warned, I will think less of you if you pick the sorcerer, okay? Okay, let's get into it. Here's what you're gonna do. You are going to make a level 17 draconic sorcerer. This is for meteor swarm and the elemental affinity. You're gonna pick fire damage for your elemental affinity uh, or gold or red scales for your draconic sorcerer. You're gonna do a level two fighter for action surge, of course, and a level one genie warlock for genie's wrath. Make sure that your charisma is 20 and your strength or dex are 13 to be able to get that fighter multi-class. Feel free to pick a feat at level 12. For Sorcerer, I'd go with Elemental Adept to make sure you are getting as much DPS as possible. I know that stands for damage per second, but hey, you know what? It's fun game. See how fast you can count the dice. That's your damage per second. Nine step process. Here we go fast so we can get to the fun stuff. Sorcerer stuff is lame, all right? Step one, find a group of at least 15 enemies. I know, okay? I know, all right? But find a group of 15 enemies. Step two, cast Meteor Swarm at the highest level, which is ninth level, heighten the spell, and empower it to get as much damage as possible, okay? Step three, you're gonna trigger Elemental Affinity, which Elemental Affinity does this. Cool. Step four, Roll for damage, this is the fun part. With an average damage of 75 per enemy, that's a total of 1,125. Boom, look at that, you already did it. But that is provided that they all fail, and who knows, that might not happen, right? Even though you heighten the spell, they have disadvantage, they could succeed. So let's go ahead and keep going. So step five, whichever poor souls have just been battered by flaming meteors and happen to still be alive, they're gonna suffer. Action surge. Cast Firebolt. <laughs> Boom, look at that. That's some more damage. Step six, you're gonna trigger Elemental Affinity when you deal that damage. So that is gonna be 4d10 plus five for an average of 29 damage. Empower it just for fun, milk out some more damage. Step seven, you are going to quicken and empower another Firebolt. Step eight, you are going to trigger Elemental Affinity and activate your level one Genie Warlock feature. Uh, just for funsies, to deal equal damage to your proficiency bonus, which is a whopping of 4d10 plus 5 plus 6 for a total of 35 on that next round of damage there. Step 9. Realize that you're using magic and you cheated and swear off those powers for life. But luckily for you, you still dealt a modest 1,189 points of damage. Congratulations. Okay, that's so nice for you. I'm so happy for you. Okay, let's move on. Now it's time for that real shit, all right? Warrior time. With a little bit of help from magic. Okay, but please don't hate me. Okay, let's just, let's just keep going. A few concessions need to be made. The mage, the sorcerer was going for AOE. We're going for single target. So we get a couple of things to kind of, you know, add a little bit of spice, add a little bit of pepper to our omelet here. Sure. So on top of being level 20, we're also gonna give this character a Potion of Haste and a plus three Holy Avenger Greatsword. I feel like that's only fair, okay? All right, so here's what your build is gonna be. You're gonna be a level 11 fighter with the Echo Knight subclass. I know, I know, it's not official D&D content, but most people are okay with it, so just let's move on. Level two Paladin and a level seven Swords Bard. I know that seems strange, but just roll with me here. Make sure you have 20 Strength, 18 Con, Great Weapon Master and Great Weapon Fighting to max out that damage. The Demon God is wreaking havoc on the city of Verdalka. Our brave main character PC, as toxic as they are, only has one turn to destroy the Demon God before they destroy the city. They have 1,000 HP. Let's hope this works. Step one, like every Echo Knight, make sure your Echo is out before combat starts because we need that bonus action. 
Step two, drink the potion of haste. Step three, well, there's a lot less setup here. We swing. <laughs> we just start swinging until it's dead. And when I say swing, I mean a lot. And on every single attack, we're going to smite using Great Weapon Master. So in terms of attacks, we get three from the attack action, one from our hasted action, and three from our action surge. Now with Echo Knight, whenever we take the attack action, we can unleash incarnation and make an additional three attacks. So the reason we went Swords Bard is so we could have up to level seven full caster spells and get in a little bit of damage from the Swords Bard feature. So that means now that we've told our DM what we're gonna do, step four, the DM rolls their eyes and lets us roll damage, provided each one of these attacks hit. So each attack at a base will be 2d6 plus 2d10 plus five plus three plus 10. Each attack we will smite and since the demon lord, we get an extra d8. Woo! -hoo. We're gonna use our bard slots first to smite. And then we're also going to use our swords bard feature on one of our attacks. So let's assume all of these attacks hit. I mean, all of them, okay? And then we roll the damage all together. So that would be a total damage of 20 D6, 20 D10, 42 D8 from all of the smites, uh, 1 D8 from the Swords Bard Flourish, Pow. plus 50, plus 30, plus 100. 50 from our Strength Mod, 30 from our Magic Bonus, and 100 from Great Weapon Master. The sword itself will do an average of 80 damage. The Holy Avenger Radiant Damage will do 120. And then the Smite with the Bard spell slots is an average of 210 plus the five, carry the one for a total of, oh God. For a total of 595 damage. Oh no, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. God, why? Oh. I'm so sorry that I've disappointed all of you. I am. I thought I could do it. The numbers were there. I thought I had it figured out, but I'm just not strong enough. I can't. I'm not smart enough. I think I'm gonna need your help. We cannot let those devious wizards in their pointy hats and gnarled wood wands and staves beat us, all right? Warriors, paladins, fighters, all of us, we need to unite, okay? We need to put our collective three brain cells together and figure out how to beat them. They did a grand total of 1,189 points of damage. I could get it up to 595 in one round, but maybe you can figure it out. I need your help here. I can't let the wizards continue to make fun of me. It's not gonna be good for anybody, all right, if that happens, okay? So please, if you know how to, as almost entirely a martial class, and maybe there's a little bit of magic sprinkled in there, if you can figure out how to get to 1,000 points of damage as mostly a fighter, mostly a barbarian, mostly a martial class. I would love to hear it in the comments. So with that, that is the end of this video, sadly. Believe me, I'm also disappointed. That's why I'm hoping all of you would be able to help me. We did get there with the mage, with the sorcerer, whatever, they're dumb. That's how you do it. At least as a sorcerer, that's how you do it. As a martial class, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm hoping you can help me along the way. With that, thanks for watching. For all of you that have subscribed or that have subscribed because of this really, really, really dumb video, thank you. It's so amazing and wonderful to see how far the channel has come. I mean, in just one month. When I started Roll with Advantage three years ago, it was a lot of nothing for a long time. And that's not to devalue anybody that did subscribe. Thank you so much during that time. But this growth in this past month has been fantastic. And I'm so excited to keep churning out good stuff for each and every single one of you. I mean, it is a dream come true to even have a 
this much of a following. So I'm very excited to see what happens with it. If you have any ideas for things you'd love to see in the future, please do not hesitate to put those in the comments. We're going to start doing D&D 5e build videos to see if that's up anybody's alley. You know, just something new. The advice video still two a month every other Sunday um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Check out our live play 5e campaigns on Twitch. VOD's uploaded to YouTube. But that's it. I'll stop talking at you. I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Thank you so much for everything. And we will see you in the next one.